Hey, Ads. All right, Chaz, how you doing? All right, mate. Do you like my new bike? Yeah, this one's electric. Ooh, electric. Now that gives me an idea. So you may be wondering... Yeah, but Ads, what are e-bikes doing on a motorhoming touring YouTube channel? That's a good question. Uh, well, uh, e-bikes have become very popular over the last few years, especially with motorhomers. So, being me, I thought I might build one. So let's talk about the bikes that we bought. These are Carrera Crossfire 2 hybrid bikes. They retail at £330 from Halfords, but we bought them on the sale for £260 each. They have an aluminium frame, front suspension, disc brakes, which is very important because we're going to be pulling more speed, so we need to be able to stop. And it has 24 gears, three on the front and eight on the back. We've got a 21 inch frame for me and a 19 inch man's bike for Zoe. Why a man's bike is simply because the location of where we're going to put the battery. There was not enough room on the woman's bike. So the kit is a Dillinger Street Legal electric bike kit. It retails at £825, but I got it on sale for £539. The motor is a 350 watt geared front wheel hub motor, but it is limited to 250 watts. So instead of the 25 miles an hour maximum speed, we should get 15 miles an hour maximum speed. The battery is a lithium ion 36 volts 13 amp hour battery uh, which, which should give us a range of around 62 miles so first of all we have the battery and controller it's all in one and it also comes with a key uh, an on off button and uh, this is where you charge it just in there and you've also got a usb charger socket just in here to uh, charge your mobile phone from it or whatever you want. This is the power level button um, and it's not working at the moment because it's uh, well it's probably got some charge in it but I need to switch it on I think. So there's the on button. Does this light up now? There you go. It looks like it's fully charged but I will fully charge it while I'm installing the rest of the motor. This looks like the charger itself and you've got what looks like a very light laptop brick and two sorts of plugs UK and I think that might be European over here we have the display or computer and uh, it hooks onto the handlebars this is the pedal assist system so that will go onto the crank and as it spins this sensor will sense how uh, if you're pedaling or not then we have the throttle, that will go on the handlebars. Over here we have various cables. Uh, we have some cable wrap just to keep things tidy. Cable ties. And this is the uh, brake sensor. And of course we have the wheel and hub. They've already spoke to it as you can see on a separate rim. I just need to unbolt, take off, remove my original wheel and uh, put that in its place. The other thing I'll need to do is connect the disc brake to here. So the first thing we need to do is take off the original wheel, remove the tyre and the inner tube and the disc brake here and put it all on to the new hub. Okay we're going to fit the wheel now and uh, this is quite a simple job however there's a few factors we need to look into although I didn't have this problem so it goes straight into the forks quite easily there is this washer here this torque washer and obviously that can come off see this little noggin here that goes in between the forks to stop stop the hub from turning you'll also notice that the hub itself the spindle goes through the axle is actually uh, threaded but shaved down one side uh, both sides so it will only go in two ways the wrong way maybe in reverse or front way the torque washer goes in between the fork and the hub and then you've got a washer and the nut that goes on there 
and then round the other side you have the cable coming out of the motor itself then that needs to go down because if it when it rains we want the drips running down the cable not into the motor uh, and then we're going to kind of do a bit of a loop action there so it goes up the forks to the battery oh you can hear that that's the motor yeah uh so we we managed to get the wheel on now we did have uh, some problems um we've had to use one of these this is a, a split washer which uh, becomes part of the actually it's called a torque washer it comes part of the kit uh, and we had to put one in just there in between there not the other side just here just to, so that the forks don't foul the disc brake and that was what was happening and this is why the disc brake itself uh, was is not connected so we're gonna have to do that perfect our next step is to fit the battery cradle, uh, which we're going to fit just here where the bottle holder would normally go. So that's just going to slot in there. Okay, so that should now just slot on there. Oh, get it right. There you go. Keys. That is now locked. Fantastic. Well, the next step is installing the stuff on the handlebars. And first of all, we have the computer. Uh, the computer has a control as well, which you basically uh, press up and down and the off button. Um, that we're going to fit on here. Just by clipping that on just to show you what it looks like there you go it's going to go in there somewhere we managed to uh, take off the uh, handlebar grip uh, because this is the thing I've just dropped hopefully it still works <laughs> because we need to fit the throttle and we're gonna we've chosen the right hand side that's gonna go on like that uh, we need to make sure that the gears and the brakes are not going to be uh, in the way and uh, put that back on we may have to either adjust the brake move it all over up here or something and then fit the grip or cut a chunk off the grip but uh, we'll figure out that as we go along I think okay so the last thing we've installed is uh, the sensor here the, the PAS sensor so uh, this detects whether or not you're pedaling or not um, and this is a whole bunch of magnets around here you see and then this sensor here uh, picks that up. Uh, it doesn't look like it's put on there very well but this uh, clip is certainly holding it on there. Um, we did think about putting it in here on the crank in here and in the, in the gears but uh, uh, yeah it's kind of sticking to the metal. We didn't like the idea of that so we've left it this side. It seems to work. It appears flimsy but I mean it, I think I think it's adequate actually. So when you're pedaling, it's going to pick that up and then send it to the motor. Um, the other thing, of course, we had to do is the wiring uh, to, so we could test it. Uh, there's lots of wiring and that is our next step in tidying things up. The other thing we had to do, just to finalise, is the brake sensor. So the brake sensor, I can't actually see whether brake sensor oh, here we are here's the brake sensor so we've got two brake sensors one on each side and uh, all that's happening here is that this is the sensor and then this little is a little magnet and they're both stuck on with uh, little sticky pads uh, so when the the brake is actually pulled away the sensor is uh, notices that and tells the computer to stop the motor moving so the last thing we need to do is actually do all this tidying of the wires um, and then we can get to test it, going outside and testing it. It's looking good though. It's really good. Just one more bike left to do. So weighing the bike again, we get 23 kilograms, which is an additional eight kilograms on the normal bike. So 
So I managed to finish both bikes now. The first one took us about five hours. Uh, the second one, Zoe's bike, took me on my own about two. So uh, I guess mm, getting better because I know what I needed to do and the bikes are exactly the same, uh, it was just that much easier. So we're going to see Zoe zoom off. Hopefully she'll return. <laughs> yeah. She has no idea how, how to ride it yet. No, and in fact, right. you've not ridden this bike. At, oh, no, you've ridden it for like 30 seconds without the um, motor. So let's go through, show her all the steps. So down there is the battery, and that's the button, on button there. Do you want to press the on button? This one? Yeah. Okay, so it goes in and it's actually lit up now. You can't see that in this light. Oh, yeah. So but on the on here, uh, the display is still off. So to turn it on, you've got to hold in the bu middle button for about a second. There you go. Mm. So okay, and I've, I've changed it so it's in miles per hour. So it's miles per hour. That's the uh, milometer. Uh, and you're in... Uh, system one at the moment at nine uh, this is your control here you've got the off button and up and down so you can actually when you're pressing the button change the oh, assistance see. so one is the hardest and then it no one it well one is the uh, i'm not giving you much assistance nine right. is i'm giving you all my assistance okay. uh, this here is the throttle hold hold yourself i'm going to just tweak it a little bit oh, no, yeah. it's moving yes uh, and um, no. Whoa. <laughs> don't don't go yet, love. Bye. Uh, the other, you don't need to use that. No. Okay, that's kind of an extra if you're feeling lazy, because down here, when you're pedaling, it will register that you're pedaling, and oh, it will help you. Yeah. So that's right. the so that's, that's the PAS. You don't need to use that. No, you don't need to use that. No, in case you just wanna. Um, yes, you've got the normal gears and brakes. Uh, when you brake, it actually the motor will stop spinning. It will stop assisting you, um, and that's basically it. Mm. Everything else is the same as a normal bike. Okay, just stop pedaling. Oh God! Oh, <laughs> Off she goes. She's gone. Right. Whoa. So did you? So what did you think of that then? Yes, it's very fast, isn't it? Oh, can you actually feel the pull? Yes. Yeah. The only thing I did find is that when you're cycling, sometimes your, le your legs aren't going fast enough. Well, that's when you need to change gear. <laughs> <laughs> so your, your feet were going like that, your legs were going like the clappers. Yeah, and so I can go yeah you can up. change gear, yeah. So that's the gear one, and this is the... Yeah, they're just like a normal bike. Yeah. So you've got three on the front, Okay, but very and then good. eight on the back. Yes. And what speed did you get up to? Did you notice? Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, God. So what does that mean now? 0 0.4 of a mile I've just done. That's right. You've almost done half a mile. Goodness. I only went just up there and up yeah. there. Notice, um, notice you've got the hand on the brake. Yeah. Oh, you've put your hand on the brake again. Oh. Notice the little display oh, yes. there. It tells you that tells you that you're using the mm. brakes. Okay, so we're on kind of a level road. I think it's actually dipping down there. Uh, so, and maybe a little bit of a rise at the end of this road, but um, let's just see what happens. Um, we're currently on um, pedal assist of zero, which means I'm not going to get any pedal assist. Let's see what happens. Oh, I'm probably in the wrong gear for that. Okay, so that's, uh, we're doing about 12, 13 miles an hour. Uh, let's give it a pedal assist. I'm actually at re oh there you go three I can feel that my top PAS is five I'm going well I can definitely feel the um, the assistance there I'm going to change gears now this feels very comfortable riding uh, so I don't know if it's actually helping me right now so let's switch that off put that back down to zero. Yeah, I don't think it was helping, although I'm going up a rise now and I'm decreasing speed. Right, another rise here, so let's increase this. Oops, press the right thing. Oh, I'm slowing now, nothing's kicking in. Probably should change gear. Oh, there you go. 
my speed decreased below 15 miles an hour and it started assisting me. So my natural speed is 15 miles an hour, I think. That's the most comfortable speed for me. Uh, which of course when, is when the assist uh, switches off. All right, so this time I'm gonna pull away on the throttle. So I need to release brakes. Here we go. No pedal, no pedaling. Slight incline in the road just here. Still throttling. 15, 16, starting to go downhill though. And the, and the throttle's stopped. I'm just freewheeling now. So going uphill here, it seems fair, I can feel the assistance going 15 miles an hour. If I switch it off, oh, <laughs> I might have to stand up. Kick it back in. Whoa, there you go. So I can say it's definitely working <laughs> and it's definitely assisting. Right, so I've got a speed app now on my phone. You may not be able to see that, but it's a zero just there. Uh, and I'm just going to do a comparison between the two. I set this up to uh, a 28 inch wheel. So uh, let's see what it, how it does. Oh, I got the wrong gear there. Oh, there we go. It starts to kick in. So, so on the left, trying to keep my speed. So on the left, it says 15 miles an hour. On the right, it says 16.1 miles an hour. So maybe I've got that adjusted incorrectly. Well, they actually say the same miles an hour now. I think that, yeah, I think there's some lag in the display on the app, which is using GPS to check out your speed. Ooh. Comes as some, sometimes as a shock, surprise that he's going to be boosted. Miles an hour, 32 miles an hour. Oh, slowing down. 32.8, I think that said. Oh, I've got to get back up that real hill now. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a delay in the GPS one on the left rather than anything being wrong. Well, I'm very pleased with uh, this uh, setup, this kit, this bike. And as a, as a kit, installation was very simple. And uh, cycling and usability is very easy. And I think we're going to be able to uh, do a lot more cycling, increase our health, and get out more on bikes. So I think this concludes my uh, installation and setup of this Dillinger Street Legal uh, electric motor kit. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and all that kind of thing. I'll go left here. Whoa, bit of a boost then. <laughs> thank you very much for watching. Until next time, goodbye. We've done your one already. Oh. No, we haven't. <laughs> Is that as far as you've got? We've done Cheeky loads. Bugger. We've done loads. If you could see what we've done, it's been an engineering masterpiece. We've, we've got washers and everything in now. <laughs> okay. I don't think she believes us. Nah. Yeah, so that's where you yeah. want to end up? Yeah, okay, right. All right. So we're recording. So you can't... And what do I say? I <laughs>
All right, action. So you may be wondering. <laughs> right. So you may be wondering. Yeah, but ads. What is an e-bike doing on a motorhome YouTube channel? That is a very good question. So motorhoming. No, see, I've done it all wrong. I knew it would do. <laughs> but you need to be quicker when you're coming in as well. Not really? Okay. <laughs> 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 but I'm fine with that!